Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 6, subject general science, chapter 13, fun with magnets, part 3. Now part 1 and 2 of this lesson, we learned about how the magnets were discovered and what are the magnetic and non-magnetic substances right then uh, today's class we will uh, and we also learned about the poles of magnet how the magnet has a north pole and a south pole so today we'll continue with the class from page number 129 finding directions now using uh, magnets how are, how can we use it to find directions that is what we are going to learn so there is one small story here magnets were known to people from the ancient times ancient times means very long ago people knew about the magnets many properties of the magnets were also known to them now uh, the magnet has different properties right like they have poles and uh, they attract iron small pieces of iron also get attracted by the magnets like this they have different properties so these properties were known to people long time ago also you might have read many interesting stories about the uses of magnets one such story is about an emperor in china named hong ti okay now this story is about this chariot which you can see on the screen it is said that he had a chariot with a statue of a lady that could rotate in any direction so this lady on that chariot now this is just an example now same type of uh, thing was present on his chariot also so it could uh, rotate in any direction it had an extended arm you can see an extended arm now which is pointing ahead right yes uh, so uh, she it had an extended arm as if it was showing the way as if it was showing the way that means it, it looked like it was showing we have to go this way the statue had an interesting property it would rest in such a position that it extended arm always pointed towards south the extended arm of this lady always pointed towards the south. By looking at the extended arm of the statue, the emperor was able to locate the direction when he went to new places on his chariot. Nowadays, we have a lot of GPS and Google Maps helping us to for directions. In those days, directions were found by such uh, equipments or by looking at the sun. Okay, so uh, this lady or this chariot was present with a statue where this arm of this lady, the extended arm, always directed towards the south. So the emperor would know in which direction he is going and which direction he is supposed to go. Now let us make such a direction finder for ourselves. Now uh, that comes to activity 5. Take a bar magnet. Bar magnet means a simple magnet. Put a mark on its end for identification. Now, tie a thread at the middle of the magnet so that you may suspend it from a wooden stand like shown on the picture. You can just, it should be suspended. It should be free. Make sure that the magnet can rotate freely. The, it should not have some obstructions. It should be able to rotate freely. Let it come to rest. Mark two points on the ground to show the position of the ends uh, of the magnet when it comes to rest. Now draw a line joining the two points. This line shows the direction in which the magnet was pointing in its position of rest. Position of rest means when you leave it freely, in the which position it is standing, it will show that position. Now, rotate the magnet by gently pushing one end in an, any direction and let it come to rest again. Okay, now uh, what you have to do is rotate the magnet, the suspended free magnet, you have to rotate again mark the position of the two ends of its position of rest does the magnet now point in a different direction 
no it will point at the same direction rotate the magnet in other direction and note the final direction in which it comes to rest now you should know that whenever the magnet is suspended and it comes to the uh, resting position it will always be in the same direction do you find the magnet always comes to rest in the same direction yes now can you guess the mystery behind the statue of the emperor chariot yes now repeat this activity with the iron bar and a plastic or a wooden scale instead of a magnet do not use light objects for this activity and avoid doing it where where there are currents of air currents of air means where there is movement of air don't switch on the fan and do this activity okay do the other materials also and com uh, always comes to rest in the same direction we find that freely suspended bar magnet always comes to rest in a particular direction okay so which is the north south direction use the direction of the sun rising in the morning to find out the rough direction towards the east where you are doing this experiment if you stand facing the east to your left will be the north using the sun for finding direction may not be very exact but it will help to make out the direction north from the south on your on your line using this you can figure out which end of the magnet is pointing towards the to the north and which point is to the south now the end that is pointing towards the north is called the north seeking it's it's north seeking that means the uh, you, you should know that opposite poles attract that means the north pole attracts south pole the south pole attracts north pole so uh, here north seeking end or the north pole of the magnet the other end is the point towards the south is called south seeking end or the south pole of the magnet here in the picture you can see s and n right s stand for the south pole and stands for the north pole all the magnets have two poles whatever their shape may be usually n uh, north stands n and south s poles are marked on the magnet you if you buy any kind of magnets this north pole and south pole will be marked this is called also called as the bar magnet this property of the magnet is very useful for us for centuries travelers have been making use of this property of the magnet to find directions it is said that in olden days travelers used to find direction by suspending natural magnets with a thread when uh, which they always carry with them later on a device was developed based on this property of the magnet it is known as the compass okay c o m p a w s a compass is usually a small box with a white glass cover on it a magnetized needle is pivoted inside the box which can rotate freely the compass also has a dial with direction marked on it now you can see in the picture right it, the uh, compass will just look like that the compass is kept at the place where we wish to know the direction its needle indicates the north south direction when it comes to rest always the uh, red uh, side of the needle will show the north direction the other side will be south direction okay the compass is then rotated until the north and south mark on the dial are at the two ends of the needle to identify the north pole of the magnetic needle it is usually painted in a different color okay that is about the this part of the lesson there is one more part of this lesson so we'll complete it cover it in the next video stay at home stay safe take care of yourself keep learning children thank you